All right, today's episode, we're going to be building an XP farm out of this zombie spawner. Usually I'd be a little more picky and want to find a skeleton spawner. Um, we actually already have a skeleton spawner that me and Harry built a little bit of ways away. But this one is right, like, pretty much within um, my little, my dwarven base. So I think I need to make a spawner out of it. Um, well, not a spawner, make an XP farm out of it. I'll show you kind of where it is. If I just run right in here, this first little main room, here's the entrance. And I saw the other skelly spawners up there on the hill, a little bit away, but not too far. Um, yeah, so the spawners are right here. It's actually kind of crazy. Oh, no, I forgot, we gotta get back in. Yeah, so the plan today is to make that into a spawner, and I'm gonna kind of connect it. Um, do that too. Connect it with this little path right here. Path goes down. Um and right there is the spawner. So perfect. You um I'm gonna mine this out, uh four blocks from spawner in all four directions, and then three and I'll probably go four down, something like that. Um and yeah, then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Just finished digging this out and I threw some stone bricks to make the walls a little prettier. Gotta do that across, kind of forgot to, that's all right. Um, this side and this side, they're gonna be windows, probably gonna use tinted glass when the light gets in, but we'll worry about that later. Um, yeah, I didn't put any stone bricks along the top because that's the floor of the layer above of the entrance and don't wanna ruin the look of that above. Um, okay, so the next step is figuring out you know how we're gonna push these skeletons all into one spot a couple of different ways to do that um, and we also have to figure out once we push them somewhere where we want to send them up so like my initial thought was to push them all to the center get them here under this send them up but this if I want to do any kind of like water elevator it'll show up out there and it'll kind of get in the way of my entranceway so I think we're gonna give up on that uh, the plan, hmm. my other idea was to push them to like this corner and then have them shoot up here because I do want the actual skeleton elevator to be visible and like be around here, but not sure if it will be able to. Um, this would be cool. It'd be hard to get them diagonally, so maybe I can, maybe I can do that. Actually, that wouldn't be the worst. I think I could get them all in this corner. And then I could, you know, hit them one way underneath and then the other way. And I think it'd be this block and send them up here. Actually, um, yeah, let's test that. We're going to give this a quick little test. So that's fine. I'm on my little staircase, but that staircase actually isn't anything important. It's just down to my chest so I can move this staircase. Actually, I like this. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to get to doing that, and I will be back for another update. Okay, so we got the water all set up. Anywhere a zombie would spawn in here, they would get pushed to this corner. Um, I should just say that this isn't the quickest way, or like the most efficient way you can get all the mobs to one place, but it's really close to it, and it's not really going to affect things too much. Yeah, so um, anything that will get pushed down here, the zombies will get pushed cross like this, this way, and here's where my elevator spot is. Um, I chose this elevator spot for two reasons. Well, I guess you could say three. Um, the first is you want it at least, or more than eight blocks away from the spawner. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's ten. I usually go ten just to be safe. Um, you want that. I also wanted it nice and centered with the path and like kind of on this diagonal so it's nice and centered in the whole room once the room is built um and then i also because of above me there's some of the build kind of it would stick out if like if it was over here for example you'd be able to see it on the outside and it would not look great so i pushed it back a little farther um yeah so once you have your location for your elevator the next step is is to make the elevator 
So you need at least a piece of soul sand, at least one uh, wall or fence block, a couple signs, and then you will need like a half a stack or a stack of kelp somewhere in there and some water. So I'm gonna knock this half of the water stream down in a second. Um, but let me explain why I want to do that. So usually you'll have your soul sand up a little bit. You'll have your wall or fence like this. And the idea is that like any zombies get pushed up onto this and then in. Uh, the problem or the reason why I'm going to drop the water stream down is as you can see I stop getting pushed once I go up. And it's because like my feet, I'm like a half block. I'm, I'm up above this water. And that's not the end of the world, you know. Another a second zombie would come along and push the zombie in, and it would work just a little slower. But if you take this and you drop this down one, like this, and I'm actually gonna back this up one and I'm block this off so that it water drops. But we do this, we put this here. And you know, it doesn't hurt to have a second one so they don't drop farther than they need to drop, but you don't need that one. They fall down onto here, look, and they get keep going, and they get pushed all the way to this edge. And it's just this little tap they have to do. Much easier. Okay. Um, yeah, so the elevator. Oh, well, actually, I gotta put some signs in. And then the last thing you gotta do is you put some signs, like such. I'm gonna do three. You don't need to, but so they don't bonk their heads on a block here. It's just smoother. But if you have the space, you might as well. Um, yeah, so they'll come flying in like this and they'll zip up the first thing to do Before you do like well, beyond this step the first thing we want to do here is We want to find out what level we're gonna land on so I'm actually gonna put them drop them right back down on this block So well not on this block, but in this, this column here um, This would be the floor level I think I'd want them with that on that block. Okay, we're gonna need to get a Y coordinate for that. So I'm gonna actually go up the full one. 15. We wanna go 23 blocks above 15, so that would be 38. All right, so I'm going to go straight up this way to 38, and then I'm gonna drop water down. And then we'll use the kelp to make all the water block sources. Uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so as you can see, I'm at block 38 for my Y coordinate. Um, we are right above our elevator. We are going to place a water bucket here. We're not going to place it low and lower. We're going to place it right here. That way, the water also flows and we can use it to push them where we want them to drop. Um, for me, I'm going to drop them right here. Uh, I do recommend you kind of bring them back towards the spawner or kind of perpendicular to it. You don't want to, uh, you don't want to go away from it just because then when you're standing at the bottom hitting them, you won't actually be spawning some or you can at least risk, risk doing that. Yeah. Um, the next step is to make these all sources. So this bubble column actually works. So I'm going to swim down to the bottom and the easiest way to do this is planting kelp. Just, you know, spam it all the way up. Come all the way back to the top, and you'll know you're done when you can't place anymore. And here we go. And there won't actually be any bubbles until the kelp's gone, so we have to go back down. And we can just hit the bottom one. Don't have to worry about breaking all of them. And there's bubbles. Alright. So we are going to go up the bubble column, test it out, make sure we didn't. there isn't any misses. There really can't be if the kelp went all the way to the top. You never know. And we're going to get in our hole. And we're going to dig down. Well, I kind of forgot I dug up there. So that could have been bad. But we survived. I was originally going to put it here. But it would have been really hard to push them into it properly. So instead, we are placing them here on the slab. One forward. All right. Yep. I'm going to pretty this up a little bit. And then maybe we can uh, test it out. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so this is looking much prettier. Um, yeah, we've got our little elevator right here. 
and they land right here. I have it actually blocked off right now, just uh, for simplicity's sake. Um, I'm not completely done. I want to do this ceiling here to here. Um, over here, it's going to stay bland because it's actually poking on the surface. Uh, I have that to do, and I have some little tidying up. Right now, I'm right, right into my chest. So, yeah. Um, I will run these guys through and make sure everything works. It'll take a second, but hopefully they will get through, and they will come down, and they will hopefully be one hit. Otherwise, we're going to have to go up there and, you know, alternate where the... Or adjust where the the drop is from. So hope it doesn't take too long. I turned down hostile mob sounds because they are loud. Oh, perfect. Okay. So I kind of want to keep certain items. I definitely want to keep iron ingots and like potatoes and carrots would be make sense to keep. So I'm gonna make an item filter. Oh, and I'm actually gonna keep running flesh in case I make a like a little thing of dogs, like a pack of dogs or whatever, because they actually treat rotten flesh like it's normal meat, so it kind of works for them. Um, yeah, so good to see that this works. Anyway, okay, so yeah, the sorter. So all the items are gonna get sucked up here. Right now, it's just these two things. Um, they're gonna come down underneath. Probably gonna run right past here. Um, I'm gonna have them spit up behind this, and then I'm gonna have a little thing of chests. They're just gonna drop in, and whatever else goes through is gonna get thrown out. Yeah. Okay. So I'm down below. Right there is where the zombies are. Their drops are going to the hopper, and they're going down chest, hopper, chest, hopper. Uh, I used a bunch of chests just to save on iron because you know, base them out. Um, the downside to using chests is that you have to lose like a elevation every time. But since I'm already making an item elevator, it doesn't really much, and might as well save on the iron. Um, I'm gonna build a quick little pulser, which basically just whenever there's items in here, it'll just bam this to shoot, and it's gonna send them up and. I line this up correctly, which I did not. Hey, I gotta move this over one. But it'll then it'll shoot up right behind this glass. There's actually another glass block behind these glass. They'll shoot up right there. They're gonna go up. Go up to my hoppers. I'm gonna have sorters right here. I'm gonna sort the things I want, things I don't want. Then go here and I'm gonna have like a like a holding system kind of thing or like to hold it so if I anything gets dropped in there that like you throw your pickaxe in there you can grab it before it goes into lava below maybe just throw it into the back of this yeah um all right let's move this over one and of course there's 20 different things in it okay so I'll do this and I will quickly mine out some more space Want to show the quick pulser. Let's compare it into repeater. You enter redstone, and on one side, you need a block. There's nothing in it right now, but like that. All right, I'm gonna fix this and probably get the item ele elevator going, and then I'll be back. Okay, so the zombie spawner is finished. Yeah, uh, everything's looking nice. All I have to do is put some stone in this little column, and I want to have to figure out what I'm going to do with those chests instead. But yeah, so their items go up in here, and I'm only sorting for rotten flesh, and I'm going to get some carrots. I guess I could sort for potatoes. Not really expecting to get many of these, but they look nice, and why not? Um, so anything that isn't one of these three items goes past it and it goes into this chest. So we've got a potato and we've got some armor. Um, if I had happened to, you know, oops, I threw my bow. It's not even a nice bow, but if it was and I was worried, well, it's going to end up right here. Well, I hope it does. Give it a second. 
There it is. All right. Um, yeah. So, when we figure out, hey, like, we don't want any of this stuff, we come through it, you can flick the switch, and everything will get emptied out, and it gets thrown right into the back of this lava. Switch back on, and boom. Yeah. Um, let me buy it inside just to show you the redstone workings. So, yeah. So... Items come up here, they get dropped into this first hopper. Um, these are the little sorters. They basically, whenever there's one more item, it's just enough power, power the repeater, turn off the torch to let item in the bottom hopper. Um, yeah. Then over here, we just have a simple birded uh, from that lever, just to make it so that it, the lever goes down when it, things go down, I think that just makes sense. Um, this just goes down to that hopper just so it gets powered and then down here our little trash can system once this uh, things get left through this hopper they go down into this and this just shoots them into the lava and there's lava behind that block yeah so quite the project I feel like I um oh, it's even don't break um, I made this a little more fancy than it needed to be but you know I'm just having fun with it yeah uh, I'm actually gonna AFK here right now but I had a great time building this let me know what you think have a good one so I'm about to AFK and I noticed a glow squid in here did not know that they could spawn but I guess it's underground and it's water so yeah I don't think it'll really affect anything in the farm so I think I'm just gonna leave it um, kind of cool wonder if I don't know how big their hitbox is, but I wonder if it can get pushed in there. Oh, <laughs> just wanted to show you guys how this was funny.